For this lesson today, we're doing lesson 95, and we're going to find the volume of a right solid. Now let's take a look at what we mean by a right solid. A right solid is a geometric solid, so we're talking about three dimensions here, whose sides are perpendicular to the base. In other words, they have a base, they actually have two bases, and it is a 90 degree angle between the base and the sides. All right. And so the volume of a right solid equals the area of the base times the height. We have talked about this before in class, but I would like you to use this formula when you're talking about this. Volume equals, we use a capital B for the area of the base times the height. All right, so put that in your notes, this formula for volume of a right solid, and then we're going to do a couple of examples together here. All right, here are just some examples of some right solids. Here you have a triangular prism. We have a triangle as this base, a triangle as the top base, and you have a 90 degree angle here between the sides and the bases. Same thing here. You have the two circles and then the height is at a 90 degree angle of the base. Same thing with the cube. So these are all examples of right solids. That means you can use this formula for volume with any of those. All right, so let's use that formula. We're going to find the volume by finding the area of the base times the height. In this case, the base is a triangle, and they're telling us down here that it is an equilateral triangle. All right? So to find the area of that triangle, we do base times height divided by 2. So you have 4 is the base, because it was an equilateral triangle, times 3, which is the height, divided by 2, and we have to take that times the height of the prism, which is 8. All right, so we have uh, the area of the base would be 4 times 3 divided by 2, which is 6. 6 times 8 is 48, and we are finding volume, so that would be cubic inches. All right, go ahead and put that into your notes finding the volume of that triangular prism. All right, now I would like you to do this one also with me. This is a cylinder, obviously. And so we need to, I'm going to scooch these up here, come and get them out of the way. We need to find the area of the base, which obviously in this case is a circle, times the height of the cylinder. And they told us to go ahead and leave pi as pi, which simplifies our task a little bit. If I'm going to find the area of a circle, I know the area of a circle is pi times r squared. Well, what is the radius here? If the diameter is 20, that means the radius is 10. So I have pi r squared, which is pi times 10 times 10. That would be the area of the cylinder, pi r squared. And then we take it times the height of the cylinder, which they told us in the information was 24. They told us to leave pi as pi, so we have 10 times 10, which is 100. 100 times 24 is 2400 pi. And that would be centimeters cubed then for the volume. All right, here's a couple examples that I'm going to show you. You do not have to put these in your notes, but you're going to be looking at some of these in the days to come, so you want to pay attention here. I have a uh, picture of a shed here that Eric saw in a catalog. He wants to order one to store his gardening tools, find the volume of the shed. Well, you can see that that isn't just one right solid sitting there, but it is. If you can see down at the bottom part of the shed, it is a rectangular prism. And then we have a triangular prism up here at the top. So we're going to find the volume of each of those separate uh, pieces and then add them together to find the total volume. So we've got volume of, let's do the rectangular prism first. Area of the base would be 6 times 7 because it's length times width times the height of that part which is 9 feet. All right, let me get a calculator here and we will do uh, 6 times 7 times 9 comes out to be 378 cubic feet. All right, and then for the top part, that is a triangular prism. So let's see if we can find the area of the triangle and then take it times the height. Of course, we're going to have base times height divided by 2. So the base here would be the 6 feet that it was down at the bottom 
times 2 feet high divided by 2, and then the height of the prism along here is 8 feet. So we have 6 times 2, which is 12, divided by 2 is 6, times 8 is 48 feet. And then if we add those together, 378 plus the 48, whoops, excuse me, let me get that out of the way, it would be 400 and, let's see, 36 cubic feet would be the volume of that shed. All right. Now this is one that I would like you to put in your notes. This is a set of steps, obviously, and we need to find the volume of those steps. So we're going to break it up into two different rectangular prisms here. We're going to do the one that's right here. All right, I'm kind of tracing it. And then we'll do the top step, let's see if I can change colors here, as a separate rectangular prism and then combine those. All right, so let's take a look first of all at the bottom. The volume would be the area of the base times the height. Well, we know the, the base is 24 by 20. So 24 times 20 times the height, which is 6 inches. All right, so let's figure out what that is. Let me get the calculator here. We have 24 times 20 times 6, 2,880 cubic inches. All right, and then we're going to do the top step, the one in yellow here. We have still 24 inches across. We have 16 inches as the width, and it is a 6-inch high step. So let's see what that would come out to be. Uh, 24 times 16 times 6 is 2,304. Add those together. Uh, 2,880 would be 5,100. Is that 84? Yeah, 5,100. 84 cubic inches. Alright, that's it for today. You can uh, finish up those notes and bring them to class tomorrow.